Looks like they got it wrong. Anyway guys, hey, it's freaking Monday morning here. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. I already ate my French toast, so no gratuitous French toast shot for you today. Sorry, I was really hungry and I uh, couldn't wait. Anyhoozle, well, today is a work day. Tomorrow's a work day. The day after that's a work day. The day after that's a work day. And then it's half day freaking Friday again. They're not calling for rain tonight, but they're calling for rain tomorrow. But regardless, I need to lift tonight because I haven't lifted since last Wednesday. And I'm not sore anywhere, and I missed the soreness, which is weird because muscle onset soreness is not something you really want. But I misses it. But when I want that feeling, all I got to do is get up and walk because my legs are fried from yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. So, fun. Alright okay, guys, it's friggin' 11 o'clock, first break of the day, and they said it wasn't supposed to rain today, but we definitely got a lot of overcast, and it's super muggy out. You know what, I'm glad it's overcast. If it was as hot as it was on the weekend right now, holy crap, it would suck to be stuck in this house in that room. That's why I like biking, because, you know, sure it was 31 degrees Celsius out, but when you're riding a bike... It really didn't feel that hot because the wind's blowing by you. So I think uh, it's 11 o'clock now. Lunch isn't for a while. But I have a lot of this. No, I don't. I thought I had a lot of the salad left, but I got enough for another bowl. I think what I'm going to do is blast up one of these chickens. And we have a chicken, uh, chicken salad or something like that for lunch. Because for supper, I took out some uh, ground chicken. And I'm going to be making patties out of it to have chicken burgers. Because I have a whole lot of buns here and I need to use them. <laughs> also, my friend Kara recently bought herself a Fitbit and she's so excited about it that she started a challenge on Fitbit and invited me and a bunch of my friends that we all have in common to basically do this challenge is to do 10,000 steps in a day and I'm already a fifth of the way there 2100 steps yup good times blurry McLurry so that's the battle plan hit 10,000 steps plus tonight is a lifting night which I'm freaking excited for I haven't had a coffee yet or any sort of caffeine it's currently 11 o'clock Totally well within my rights to have caffeine now, but ah, not really feeling it. So probably just gonna hold off. I find if you uh, use caffeine every day, then the effects aren't as awesome. But then when you take a little bit of a break from it, you know, and then you come back and you have that coffee, it just like your body goes, oh hello, and it's super happy and stuff and junk. So I kind of want to get that feeling. So that's why I'm gonna hold off on caffeine for a bit and go from there probably gonna do a pre-workout shake for lifting tonight so that has caffeine in it so I shouldn't even say that but um, now coffee first thing in the morning I want to train the body that it can it can live without it I'm not saying I'm a coffee addict I just I like the taste it's good but yeah just having caffeine every now and then is fine but I don't want to go too cray on it because then that's not good. It's, yeah. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Alright people, that was just a basic 15 minute break. I'm going to head back upstairs, punch back in and carry on my stepping. And get on with the shift. I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you guys. Okay, okay, bye. Alright guys, it's 12.30. That means it's freaking lunch time. I'm going to go grab my salad. And I, like I said, I cooked up some chicken. She's not going anywhere. Just like she's laying right in the way. I go to step over. She doesn't even move. Normally she would like, like look at my foot as I'm stepping to make sure she doesn't get stepped on. But this time she was like, meh, whatever. Crush me. I don't care. Cats are weird. So it's not just spinach. There's actually like other things in it too. I just added a bunch of my spinach to what was left of the salad from the weekend. And... Added some chicken. Also guys, for dinner tonight, I'm making chicken burgers. And literally this is those tubes of chicken, just compressed into a patty. Fire that thing in the freezer. Just need to find my lid for my salad. 
and I can mix it up because I don't have another mixy bowl. I thought I did. Where the hell did the other bowl go? Did I leave it upstairs? Did I throw it out? Did you eat it? Talking to the dog. Oh, there it is. I do have another mixy bowl. Sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Walden's Farms into it. So I really do like this salad dressing. It's actually really tasty. For zero calories, can't go wrong. Walden Farms, Walden Farms. And there we go, chicken toss salad for lunch and burgers for dinner. We're freaking ready to go. Not sure if I'm gonna barbecue or air fry or pan fry the burgers. I'm gonna try and aim for barbecue. Like I said, tonight we uh, we are doing a workout. We are doing lifting, lift session, lift a mania, if you will. Black thing on my friggin' screen. I thought it was breaking the view screen there. So, oh crap! I bitch about this camera all the time, but let me tell you, I can't really afford to go out and buy a new camera to do these videos. So this thing breaks. It's onwards to the DA DJI. Then down the list of cameras until I have none left. Hmm, fine. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Alright guys, last break of the day and I'm almost there. It wasn't easy to get to 8,000 steps. I still got 1,900 or 1,800 and change to go. My legs are fried. Like, from all that biking throughout the week, they are just annihilated. But that's okay. We'll be fine. What now my burgers are doing? Can't wait to cook these. Oh yeah, they're nice and frozen. They're gonna be thick too. Look at the size of them. One pound of meat and the two half pound patties. And the meat is extra lean ground turkey. Ground turkey. Extra lean ground turkey. I think I said chicken a little while ago. I always buy either the chicken or the turkey. I usually like the turkey more but if they don't have it, I'll get the chicken. The reason why I like the turkey more is it's a little bit leaner. Oh man, was the side of that wet? For the sakes. Anyway, I'm gonna make a pre-workout shake here. Get it into me, get it absorbed, get it ready to rock because I got a workout happening today. Same one as yesterday, down the hatch. One day I'll learn how to drink like a normal human. So as for the bike, a lot of you are mentioning different things that I'm going to have to check out. Axle warpage, frame broken, stuff like that. So I'd really love a bike stand, some way to get the bike off the ground. Now there, I did watch a DIY video on how to build one. And all you do is you go to Home Depot and you buy a bunch. Can you guys remember when I built this thing? Well, they got a bunch of piping like that. All different lengths so they got them in like that's so only a foot they have two foot segments three foot segments they got six foot segments so on and so forth and literally what the guy did was he bought like a six foot segment uh, two two foot segments a T two U's and he literally built this like the floor goes like this and then he had the pipe coming off the center out and at the top he had a pipe clamp, which I don't exactly understand what that is meant for in the real world, but it would grab onto the seat post of my bike and hold it off the ground while I'm wrenching on it. And that would make a lot of these jobs a lot easier by getting it off the ground so I'm not bending over so much in discomfort or squatting so much in discomfort. It'd be nice to have it up in the air where I can do all the fine tuning and adjustments to it and get everything all situated. It's like ever since I did that rip in Laurier Woods, the bike just hasn't been the same. And I'm thinking you guys are right, something on the bike broke. Either there's a problem with the axle and it's causing the tire to move out of alignment. It's a problem with the frame that's broken that I just haven't seen yet because it hasn't broken. It's just cracked and it's like, it folds and then it goes back into position, folds and then it goes back into position. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to have to like seriously go over the bike with a fine tooth comb, which wouldn't work because it has no hair. So I should probably just use a magnifying glass. That'd be the smarter move. And actually look for a problem somewhere in the, in the structure 
And I'm hoping it's not the frame because I honestly don't know if you can just weld that or what. Like, keep in mind, yeah, it is a fat bike, but it's not a good fat bike. It's a cheap fat bike. I could probably order a new frame for it off of Amazon, worst case Ontario, but I prefer not to, you know? I prefer to, uh, I just hope it's something simple. Like if the axle's broken, well then I'll replace the axle. Find out what I need and get it done. Just never take it back in Laurier Woods. I gotta remember, it's not like the fat bikes I watch on YouTube. These guys actually spent money for theirs. I went to a big box store and, and, and dropped three bills. So, even though to some three bills is a lot of money, to me three bills is a lot of money. A real good fat bike is $1,200. I dropped a quarter of that. So, I shouldn't expect it to perform up to the $1,200 standards. Obviously to make it that cheap, they had the cheap out somewhere, and where they cheap out? Well, they had the cheap out on components. It's got the Shimano Tourney derailleur, but God, did it ever have a horrible little cranker shifter. I'm so glad I got that Shimano on there now, because it makes a world of difference, let me tell you. Anyway, I better get back up there and get punched in. Shift's almost done. And then it's time to come down stairs and lift. My freaking legs are so fried. Oh my god. I'm actually anxious for bed tonight to sleep again. Okay, talk to you in a bit. So this is that step challenge. Yeah, I'm 121% completed. Like, I really beat the crap out of it today. I'm also done my workout, guys. Probably noticed the time, 6.48. Also, guys, something else pretty awesome happened today. Somebody got their outdoors card and fishing license. Who's that somebody? A this guy! What you doing? You being a cat? I guess it's pretty easy to do, eh? Just go around being a cat. Right? Hey. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, mouse, 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 you're a cow. I said, mouse, mouse, you're a cow. Anyway, I want to go to the uh, barbecue there and blast my burgers. Blast my burger! I figure while I'm out there, I can take a look at the bike frame with you guys and just see if we see anything out of the ordinary. God, I hope you're wrong. Like, this is the one time that I hope the audience is wrong and that the frame is not broken on the bike. Because if it is... I might as well just throw it in the freaking dump and buy a new bike because like I said it's a Walmart Canadian Tire $300 bike there's no point in keeping it unless I can find a replacement frame for it or unless I want to get really crafty with the welder I know there was a video online of the mongoose and somebody bought a carbon fiber frame for it. Now I don't really want to spend that kind of money on a freaking $300 bike. But then again if you think about it, right? A lot of people buy cheap bikes and put a lot of money into them. They're like, um, let's get this thing in the open. Like looking around here, all the welds are still good. All the welds are, she's dirty. I wonder if it's just dirt. Maybe I should clean off these pulleys because there's a like you, you can clearly see smut on that gear. I wonder if it's just filth. Like, keep in mind, I got over 600 kilometers on this bike this year alone. This year is the first year I really started playing with Strava. I can't see any problems in here. Like, it's hard with the lighting, I apologize, but visually looking, I don't see any breaks in the bar's welds. I don't see any cracks in the welds. Unless this is moving up and down, this um, bolt, I really don't know what else to check. There's no cracks in here. So... That seems to be okay. And the front is the front. It's not going to cause the problems back here. So I'm wondering if it's just filthy. 
Maybe I need to uh, do a little detail for resale and uh, do myself a solid and clean this thing up. Maybe grab an old toothbrush or something and submerge it in WD-40 and scrub away at the um, the gears. Not sure what else you would use to get in there and clean it out. Maybe a wire brush? Do I have a wire brush? Somewhere? Somewhere. Could have sworn I have one somewhere. I wonder if this would work. Just to uh, clean shit off. Why not? Let me get this on the bike stand. Sure was a lot of gunk in there. I wonder if it was skipping on that. Maybe that's the noise I was hearing. Okay, guys, on a high note, the burgers are on there. It literally looks like a pack of bologna. Like they're so thick. But I'm okay with that. Anyway, I cleaned a lot of gunk off of that there. That, I don't know if that's a jockey gear, but it looks a lot cleaner. And once again, I'm sorry for the lighting, guys. It's that time of the day where the sun's at that certain angle. I'm going to try the same with up here. Let's get you into the topmost. So you guys, um, here is as high as it'll go. Second is my first, and I can't put it in the first because the derailleur, it's trying to move, but it can't because it's hitting that. High marker or the high whatever thing <laughs> I'm so good with English yeah I am all right I did some derailleur tuning we'll see if that holds check these bolts these bolts are freaking snug there's there's I don't know and I checked to see if the derailleur was bent in any way and it looks okay it doesn't look like the hangers bent or anything so unless something on the physical derailleur got cocked over, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, there's a lot of smoke coming from this barbecue. Usually, I mean something's on fire. No, we're fine. Okay. Guys, I'm such a fan of these friggin' zero sugar, or zero calorie, zero friggin' everything. Well, they say there's zero calories, but there's one gram of carbs, so that's four calories. But these power rays, there's no sugar in them. I don't know what the hell they sweeten them with, but uh you know what? Less calories, less problems. Bitter patter, have at her. Mm -hmm. These things are good. I can keep that bottle, put ice water in there and fire it in pouchy. And then I can have ice water on hand while I also have my bottle of water on my shelf. Okay, there's got to be a fire in here now. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. A lot of smoke coming out of this thing. We'll just tame her down a bit. Anyway, back to the bike. So, I've uh, got the derailleur all tuned up. Shift's nice. Shift's good. Like I said, um, two CV bloke actually brought it up. How it, how would an eight-speed uh, shifter work with a seven-speed bike? And it's pretty simple. You either have one through seven, and you can't put it into eighth gear, or you put it into eighth gear, but the derailleur doesn't move any further because it's on the stopper. Or you do it ass backwards the way I did, and you tune it based off of your last gear. So right now in second, I'm in first, and third, I'm in second, and so on and so forth. Because I tuned it in the last gear, which when I had it in eighth when I did it, if I would have had it in seventh on here, and then tuned it, first would have been first, seventh would have been seventh, eighth would have also been seventh. It just couldn't travel any further because the stopper screw was in place. Now, through the little bit of Jesus. The little bit of tuning I've done on the uh, derailleur today, I played with the um, the high and the low screw, as well as the B screw to bring the jockey gear in and out. Um, I watched a couple of videos. I watched one from uh, Seth's Bike Hacks, and I watched another one from some tool company that specializes in tools for bikes. Can't remember their name, their channel. It's pretty bad. You should be able to remember the name of channels. That's why, like, when you name your channel, if you want to get serious with YouTube, or if you just want to be, you know, noticed, it's probably a good idea to pick a name that people are going to remember. Like, my first channel, Skaven. Nobody's going to remember that. But, vlogging life, it's like, oh, what does that guy do? Well, exactly what the title of the channel says. He vlogs his freaking life. You know, whether he's... 
building computers, riding his bike, lifting weights, pushing snow, snow blowing snow, doing dump runs. You know, whatever I do in my life, I end up putting it on camera. That's the way she goes. So, yeah. The problem with these daily videos is on days like today, like where I'm working for eight hours of the day and I don't have much time to pick up the camera and really do anything entertaining. Like right now I'm having fun barbecuing. Like, holy crap, these burgers are going to be freaking amazing. Literally, I didn't even use egg in them. I just cut the tube of meat in half, fired one half of the tube in, compressed it with the discus, fired the other half of the tube in, compressed it with the discus, drilled them in the freezer, let them freeze, and right to the barbie, and nothing but deliciousness. Didn't even season them, boys. Didn't even care. We'll season them when we eat them. With what? Whatever. I just want to make sure that these are nice and cooked. I'm still seeing some pink on the side, and... I know with beef it's okay, but I don't think it is with ground turkey. Also probably shouldn't have made these so damn thick, but you know what guys? Nobody likes a thin piece of meat. So I, I don't know. I can't find any structural integrity issues with the bike, so that makes me really super happy. Uh, I think it's just derailleur funk. Like, the fact that... Jesus, I'm gonna attract the bears. All I need to do now is grease up the chain and she's rideable. Because I cleaned the chain off. You know what? I'm going to use my degreaser. And I'm going to degrease the chain. And then we're going to apply fresh oil to it once it dries. Literally just spend five minutes looking for my camera. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry while this dries. And before we apply the oil to it, uh, my burgers are done. So I'm going to go uh, in the house and patty and bun these up and dress them up and uh, go from there. I'm going to make sure there's no stray fires in here. No? Okay, good. All right, let's better patter. Holy crap, look at the size of those crows. My goodness. They are big. <laughs> All right. Shitty burgers, good to go. I really do like how this whole time I was sitting there dressing my burgers, she just sat from afar and watched. All right, well, these homemade burgers should be pretty damn good. I'm hoping. Freaking hungry. Man, I hate it. I can't find freaking my chest mount for my GoPro or my shoulder mount. I used to have a shoulder mount. It would come around and then wrap around and it would just sit on the shoulder. And it was freaking awesome. But then you had like this shoulder cam shot. And it was pretty sweet because I could talk like on my old Go. I use it on the GoPro Hero 1 or GoPro Hero, the original. And it was awesome. But with this GoPro Hero, this one here actually has a good mic on it. And the same applies to my GoPro Hero 4. If I could just get the damn thing to charge <laughs> or transfer data from the device. I'd like to be using that GoPro Hero 4. It does a little bit better video quality than uh, the Session 4. And that's only because the Hero 4 has a better mic system than the Session 4. It also does stereo audio not mono like this thing but let's go for a quick rip on the bike test out the new tune and see what we can see and do what we can do it's better batter all right see she seems to be functioning fine so i guess it's gonna take one hell of a bike ride to really get that all tuned up but one thing i need to do is grab my small this one and tighten up that grip I don't have my camera, or I don't have my phone, so this is not going to be on Strava. This is just a quick test of tune rip.
pretty good. It's kind of stupid of me to have a shower and then go do that rip, but uh, test and tune had to be done because the next time I go riding, I want a working bike. And also, in August, I have a charity run going on. I don't know if you heard about the Great Cycle Challenge, but uh, basically, it's a charity, well, a charity ride for uh, support kids with cancer and basically treatment and all that shit. I'll uh, put the link. I'm winded right now, guys. My legs are pumped. That's great. I'll put the link in the description for my charity, and it's going to be in there going forward. I'm going to be mentioning it on the videos going forward. If any of you feel like donating, I can't remember what my goal is. I think it's 200 bucks that I'm trying to, trying to raise. So we'll see how that plays out. And yeah, I'm going to try and do 250 kilometers in the month of uh, August. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much. All right, guys, it's getting a little late. I made myself some popcorn for a snack. Going to go ahead and drive it in my face and then get to bed. So yeah, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Was that a freaking bump on my head? Neat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to... Uh, Check the links in the description. I did put the charity thing in there and I changed it. I'm trying to get $500 and I'm going to try and bike. I almost said bicy uh, bicycle, but I'm going to try and bike 500 kilometers in the month of August. That's my goal. 500 for 500. One kilometer for one dollar raised. Let's see if we can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Check the links in the description. And until next time, guys, stay safe and peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.